This movie tells a story about two former army rangers who are paired against their will on the road trip of a lifetime. Army ranger Briggs, who played by Channing Tatum, and a dog named Lulu raced down the Pacific coast in hopes of making it to a fellow soldier's funeral on time. Both men and dog have been traumatized by their time serving overseas, and the long drive ahead gives them both a chance to learn something from the other in between a series of increasingly bizarre run-ins. First of all, this movie is all about the dog. Everything else doesn't seem to be important. The plot is mediocre, and the tone is imbalanced. The movie underdelivers with its two basic script and superficial treatment of deeper themes, particularly mental health. Briggs is in both physical and emotional pain, but that pain is not deeply explored. The issue about mental health crisis of the military community is introduced, but only in an expository way in a conversation late in the film. It's hard to dislike anything involving the healing powers of animal partnership, but apart from showing the dog a plenty, the movie doesn't seem prepared to execute its main theme thoroughly. It prefers to make a scattered tale of mutual misery that hopes to be heartwarming, only to offer unlikable characters making confusing choices. The journey here is a rough ride most of the time, and the film not really beginning to gel until its final 15 minutes. While the movie initially seems like a basic road movie between two characters in need of love and attention, the actual journey gets a lot stranger. Briggs' arc is difficult to follow as he's poorly behaved throughout the picture, making his early pleas for an opportunity to showcase his ranger ways again really baffling. Instead of simply driving Lulu to her destination, Briggs makes multiple pit stops along the way, with most of them highlighting his desire to have sex with random women. Then there's a kidnap on a wheat farm involving a tranquilizer. Briggs poses as a blind man to score a free hotel suit in San Francisco, making plans to seduce a front desk clerk. It's impossible to understand how a man who so desperately wants to win back Ranger approval spends the majority of screen time doing everything to deny himself Ranger approval, which leans into the deeper issue that we never really learn what's driving Briggs to get back into battle when his injury would so obviously endanger not only him, but his brothers in arms. While Briggs works so well with the dog, the script leaps past too many of the pair's key milestones together. We are told and shown that Lulu is violent and impossible from the outset, but there's not quite enough legwork involved in showing us how he manages to tame her. Finding the cure relationship between Briggs and Lulu is unsatisfying, as the movie doesn't truly clarify what's happening to the characters as they go along. The movie makes a number of weak attempts at comedy. Not a single one lands, and each supposed joke is so lazy, so telegraphed, and tired. In the end, the movie pretty much fails in terms of storytelling, comedy, and emotional beats. It has a fantastic message underneath, Unfortunately, it's not explored enough. Without a consistent tone, the movie doesn't come together in a meaningful way. We do not recommend this movie at all.